Lifted viewers, thank you for joining us today. As you know, Lifted is a program designed to help people of all ages learn healthier ways of living. We do this by empowering you to make better food choices and by living an active lifestyle. I'm Chandra Barnett, your fitness and accountability coach. And I'm Marnie Robinson, your food is medicine advocate and champion. We have a very special show lined up for you today. As you can see, we are here at HEB, 6055 South Freeway in the amazing city of Houston. I guess you are wondering why in the world is Chandra and Marnie here at HEB? Duh, we are here to grocery shop. However, not for us. We're going to show all of you how to shop so that you can eat to live your healthiest life. So come on in with us so that we can show you how it's done. Let's go do this. We are all familiar with the cliche, you are what you eat. It's weirdly true. Food is fuel for your body, but it also supports your entire internal structure, as well as your physique. From your brain health, heart health, all the way down to the soles of your feet, food has the ability to nourish and heal you from the inside out. Marnie, that is very true. Food is the single most important thing you can do to control your health outcomes. So how do we do this? We eat the rainbow. That's right. All of these colors around here in this produce section target an area of your physical health. So here is the first shopping tip. Your healing begins in produce. Every seed bearing fruit and leaf for the healing of your body are right here in this section. It's all about the color. The pigment in plant food comes from the phytochemicals. Studies have shown phytochemicals may act as antioxidants, destroy free radicals, serve as nutrient protectors, or prevent cancer-causing agents from forming. To sum it all up, the coloring tells us a little bit about what we can expect nutritionally from these foods. So this is why we want you to have a colorful diet. The more color you add to your plate, the more vitamins, minerals, and nutrients you get for better overall health. Red fruits and vegetables contain vitamins A and C. They also contain lycopene and anthocyanin. These do everything from fighting heart disease and prostate cancer to decreasing risk of strokes and macular degeneration. Orange and yellow fruits and veggies are especially high in vitamin A, vitamin C, potassium, and vitamin K. They are good for boosting immunity, your nervous system, fighting cancer, and maintaining healthy eyes, teeth, gums, and blood pressure. All the green veggies and fruits contain high levels of fiber, iron, magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Greens have very little carbohydrates, sodium, and cholesterol. The dark greens also have a significant amount of folate, a B vitamin that promotes heart health and helps prevent certain birth defects. Then we have the purple and blue fruits and veggies. We see these colors a lot in fruits like berries and plums, but are also in veggies like purple cabbage or eggplant. Blue and purple plant foods are high in antioxidants and help prevent heart disease, stroke and cancer, and much more. Tip number two. After you filled your carts with all the veggies and fruits, we shop the perimeter of the store. Food items that are more conducive to helping you lose weight, manage, and even reverse some health issues are located along the perimeter. There you will find whole food and plant produce, meats, fish, dairy, and eggs. Even plant-based items such as tofu, almond milk, oat milk, and coconut milk are all also along the perimeter of the grocery store. Because you are filling your cart with fresh food, you can better control the fat and sodium intake in your diet. What a great way to manage diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure. When shopping for your meat and fish, you want to select wild-caught fish and grass-fed meats because they are less likely to be genetically modified or filled with toxic chemicals that can promote ill health and even cancers. Did you know that wild-caught fish have up to 11% more protein than farm-raised fish? In addition, the way animals are fed can significantly affect their nutrient composition. That is why fish and meat originating from their natural habitat is preferred because it has less highly toxic industrial compounds 
and more of the nutrients your body needs to maintain good health. Now we hit the dairy section. We understand that some individuals have allergies to dairy or may be lactose intolerant. If that is the case, here is a way you can still enjoy some dairy products, but not really eating dairy. Confusing, right? But here's how you do that. Many individuals may be sensitive to dairy products. Dairy includes foods produced from the milk of mammals, such as cows and goats. This would consist of milk and any food products made from milk, such as cheese, cream, butter, and yogurt. Alternative products, such as oat milk and almond milk, and even soy milk, are plant-based alternatives to foods produced by animals. You can also find other plant-based products, such as cheese, yogurt, and butter, in the dairy section. Eggs are also in the dairy section, and although eggs are an animal product, they are not classified as dairy. Instead, eggs are considered a complete protein. And just as an FYI, eggs contain small amounts of every vitamin and mineral required for, for the human body, including calcium, iron, potassium, zinc, manganese, vitamin E, folate, and many more. I love grocery shopping, so we just covered the entire perimeter. And as you can see, we have pretty much all your proteins, fruits, and veggies, some of the dairy and non-dairy, and now we pick up a few of our favorite healthy carbs, grains like oats, rice, and even seeded breads. These are usually found in the first few aisles of most grocery stores. So now that we've come from the grocery store and gotten out all of these colorful foods, now it's time for us to work on our posture that we've been having for over the past couple of years, that computer neck tech posture. So it's time for us to correct that. And today we're gonna work with a foam roller. Now, don't worry if you don't have a foam roller, we'll, we'll show you some options that you can do. All right, so Marnie is with us today and we are going to show you some exercises to help with your posture utilizing a foam roller. Marnie, if you would come around and I would like for you to go ahead and have a seat on the foam roller and lie all the way back to where your head is on the foam roller. Very good. So what happens over time when we have this posture is our upper back muscles become weak and our chest muscles become tight. So what we wanna do is we wanna loosen that up and open it up. So this first exercise stretch that we're going to do, I like to call it the uh, TYI stretch. So Marnie, what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to bring your fingertips and point them toward the ceiling. Perfect, all right. So this is going to actually help with opening up our posture. So Marnie is going to bring her arms out to the side. Good, now Marnie's hands touches the floor. Now a person that has really tight shoulders, rounded shoulders, they would more most likely be in this position here. Okay, so in order to help relieve that, open it up, we're gonna bring those hands together a couple times. We're gonna do this just a few times, just so you'll see. And what this is doing is helping to open up and stretch. Very good, all right. Now, that's our T position. Now, Morning is going to bring her arms back into a Y position, a Y position. Now, Marnie, if you would, bring your hands up just a little bit now. A person that's extremely tight, this is where they may end up, or they may not even get to this position. Bring them up a little bit high. They may be here, okay? So what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to work on opening this up, and how we're going to do that, we're gonna bring those hands together, just like we did for the T position, and then open them up to that Y position again. There we go. And we'll do that a couple times. And notice how her arms, they're just kind of, her hands are just touching the floor, is slowly opening up. Perfect. And you'll wanna do that for about 10 repetitions, good. All right, Maureen, thank you. Now we're gonna take that to the I position. So we're gonna bring those hands back to center again, and we're gonna bring it to an I. Perfect, perfect. Now, her hands, once again, her pump, back of her hands touch the floor. Now, a person with extremely tightness, extreme tightness here, 
this is probably where they'll end up, okay? So we're gonna bring those hands up, okay? And then we're gonna bring it back down and we're gonna do that for about, hmm, about 10 repetitions here as well. Now, you can over time add a light weight to your, put a light weight in your hands just to increase the help with the stretch more. There we go, good, very good. All right, now, for those persons that do not, you can relax, for those persons that do not have a foam roller, I'll show you some exercises that we'll do with this foam roller and then we'll have some exercises done on the wall. So we're gonna bring those arms up and we're gonna bring them back down just like that, all right? And we're gonna do this for about anywhere from like a minute to two minutes, okay? And this will also help to loosen up the shoulders as well. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, and we'll stop there. Now, Marnie, if you would, you're gonna bring your hands here and what I want you to do, kind of like a seesaw motion, you're gonna bring one arm up and then the other one down, making sure that your palms continue to face each other when you're bringing them up, there we go. Perfect, just like this. And the same here, we'll do this for a minute to two minutes, okay? And this is still working, working on loosening up those shoulders and getting that chest area and upper back area loosened. Perfect, all right. And relax, good, perfect. These exercises, you can do them daily, 10 repetitions for each position. And the last two, you can do them for about anywhere from a minute to two minutes to help loosen up your shoulders and the upper back area. That's all we have for today, guys. Remember, your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. So let's all take great care of our temples by eating to live instead of living to eat. Because food, food is medicine. medicine.